Welcome back guys with our story Grace Darling with chapter 8 the worst sea of the year. In the last chapter we said that there were 12 people on Harker's Rock. Mr. Daniel Donovan, Mrs. Dowson and her ch two children and there were another 8 people. And there was a man with a broken leg. And after some time Mr. Rob was dead. And Daniel Donovan remembered the lighthouse and started to wave at the lighthouse with the other people. So what was happening there in the lighthouse with Grace and her parents? Let's see. Grace was still looking out of her window through the telescope. For a second, she saw a man on, the to on top of the rock. Then she couldn't see him behind the waves but a minute later she saw him again and there were two men this time she put down the telescope and called her father william darling ran into the room he saw them he put down the telescope and said we must go less you and i we must take the boat and save them will you come grace agreed quickly but Grace's mother was afraid. She said that Grace was only a girl and she couldn't help her father in a wild sea like that. William said, there are three or four seamen on that rock. They will help us row back if we save them. He looked into her, his wife's eyes and said, we are going, Thomason. We have to go. Come down now and help us with the boat. It took them 15 minutes to get the boat ready. Grace jumped into the boat and William pulled hard with the oars. Grace was cold and her dress and hat were wet. She was afraid but happy and excited too. She pulled hard at her oars and watched the waves. She thought worriedly, I hope we can save them. Thomas and Darling watched the little boat. She saw it for a second, then it went behind the wave and came up again. She thought, it's not possible, no boat can make a journey in a sea like that. Oh, I hope I won't see, I hope I won't lose my husband and daughter. She watched it and the little boat got smaller and smaller on the wild grey sea. Now let's go for our homework for this chapter. Let's read. Number one. What was Grace doing while her mother was cooking in the kitchen? Number two. What did Grace see when she looked out of her window? Number three. Did Grace decide to go with her father to save those people? Number four. How was the sea that morning? 5. How long did it take to get the boat ready? Number 6. How was Grace when she was with her father in the boat? Number 7. Could Grace and mother haul the boat away from the rocks? Number 8. What did Grace hope? And the last one. What did Thomason do? Now you have to read this chapter from your storybook and you will find the answers to these questions. Now, goodbye and we will meet again in another chapter. Bye.